Hi everyone, this is Diane at the Picket Fence Greenhouse and Gardens. Today is September 9th, 2011, and in front of me, standing here, uh, is King Tut. This is, this is the first year I had the King Tut. They also call it Egyptian grass, and there's some other names for them. I'll have them on this video. But this stuff's supposed to get fairly tall, and it is pretty tall here. I got them in pretty late, and some of them are probably four to five feet tall and actually they get taller than that they actually like wet weather and they are, they can actually be put in a submerge them in a pond a water garden they can also handle that but this is just an annual in our area but i love this different stuff look at the heads on these guys check it out it's pretty unique isn't it very neat but I had these left over, didn't want to throw them out. So, you know, I planted them as usual. They really are beautiful when the wind blows. If it ain't too strong and break them off, they just sway in the wind kind of nice. But what do you think of those? I had the baby tut last year. I like them just as well, but this these guys are really kind of outstanding. They they just they're upright and they just they, there's a statement right there, you know, as, as you can see them. They just put on a show. So these guys are doing good. It's too bad they won't come back, but not everything does. I think it's a very, these guys are in pretty good sun all day. And look at how much they've grown. I put, you know, I think I maybe put three per hole here because I had so many. But they sure got a lot of shoots coming up. And look how, look how big, you know, this They'd get even bigger if I would have had them in here longer. But, you know, this is about half an inch. There's some over here. This one here is nice and thick. Big around. So, if we don't get heavy wind, they're fine. But wind can knock them down and they can get a little floppy. But they can be trimmed. So, that's not a problem. We see the little ones in here coming up. So, they're pretty neat. They got some little hairy tops. I like that about them. So... Here's one I have by my pond, and I also have one submerged in the water. Honestly, those don't look as good. That one don't look as good as the ones that's out in the soil here. I think they look a lot better. I think it'd be better to just set them outside of your pond because they're nice and green, nice and full. We'll see you guys in the next video. If you've ever grown King Tut or Baby Tut, let me know. Let me know how you liked it.